hello my favorite first graders. I hope you are doing well and I hope you had a happy Easter with your family. I hope that you were able to do some fun things like dye Easter eggs or hunt Easter eggs. I also hope that you were able to talk with your family about the true meaning of Easter and what it means. I miss you so much and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, what you're going to be learning in phonics this week. Some of it will be a review and then there's one new thing that I want us to talk about. The first thing that I want you to notice this week is you're going to review some of our special sounds. The first special sound that you're going to practice is a review of the aw sound. Now, um, a couple weeks ago, we learned that there's a special way to make the aw sound, like A-W and A-U. Remember, this is a special sound, kind of like bossy R, where two letters are together, and they make a special sound, like in the word yawn and lawn. But then over here, we have words like Paul and Saul. Don't forget the special sound A-L-L. -L. That makes the aw sound in the word all and call and mall and fall. And then we had some word family words like lawn and dawn. Now this week on your phonics paper, you're going to see the aw sound again. But this time it's not these. This time it's the short O sound. And it's going to make the aw sound. Like in these word family words here, you're going to see the word family word oft. Now, if you listen carefully, you will hear the aw sound. Oft. The O makes the aw sound. Like in the word soft and loft. But then you're also going to see the aw, and you're going to hear the aw sound in the ong word family. Say ong. You're going to hear that ah sound like in the word song and long. As you notice both of those word families have the o. Oh. Let's look at another ah word family. Here we have os. O-S-S. -S, like in the word boss or cross or toss. O makes the ah sound. And then finally we have Ost, like lost and cost. So in these word families, you're going to hear the ah sound again, just like we did when we heard the ah sound with these word family words. Now remember A W and A U, that's a special sound, two letters working together to make a special sound. But then in these word family words, we just see the vowel O, and the vowel O makes that ah sound like in October, <clears throat> ah, ah, ah. So let's look at these word family words again. We have oft, ong, os, and ost. We don't say ost, and we don't say ong or oft. It's the ah, it's the short sound, ah, ah, ah. Now also on your pages this week, you're going to review soft C, hard C, soft G, and hard G. And with both of those, they follow the same exact rule. Now let's look at soft G for just a second. So when I say soft G, it could be soft C. They follow the same rules. We have to look at the vowel. And remember, if it's the soft sound, like the J sound or the S sound, we have to look at the vowel. And you will see an E, an I, or a Y right after that consonant. Look at these. Jim, giraffe, germ, ginger. If it was soft C, you would see words like city or center. We have to look at that vowel. So if it's a soft sound, you're going to see E, I, or Y. Now if it's the hard sound, for hard G and for hard C, we have to look at the vowel. So if it makes the g, g sound, like in goat, in gas, in gum, we have to look at the vowel and you will see the A, the O, or the U. Just like with hard C, you would see it in cup, in cat, in cactus. You would see the vowel A, 
O, and U. So look carefully this week at the vowels that come after those consonants. Now there's one thing new that you're going to learn this week and it's with our writing. This week, I want you to practice writing a thank you note. Now, we've all done this before, I think. I hope you have. A thank you note is just telling someone thank you for something. And we do have a lot to be grateful for. Even in this hard time of being at home, we should be thinking every day, what can I be thankful for? I have plenty of food to eat. Um, all of my family is healthy. No one in my family is sick. Um, we have plenty of things to keep us busy during the day. We have games and we have electronics and I can go outside and get fresh air. So we all have things that we can be thankful for, even in this really weird time. So this week, I want you to think about some things that you are thankful for. Maybe this weekend, someone sent you an Easter card or an Easter basket or some kind of goodie for maybe your grandparent or your cousins. And you can write them a thank you note and tell them thank you. Now there are four main parts to a thank you note. And I'm gonna to talk to, to you about them. The first part is the greeting. Can you say greeting? And the greeting typically starts with the word dear. Dear mom, dear Sally, dear Uncle Fred. You will see the word dear in the greeting. Now there's a punctuation mark that always follows the greeting and it's a comma. So the first main part is the greeting followed by a comma. The second main part to a thank you note is the body. Now I don't mean like your body, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. The body is the main part that you're writing. What are you saying thank you for? Are you thanking them for a gift? Are you thanking them for coming to your party? Are you just thanking them for being a good friend? Whatever you wanna tell them thank you for, that's the body, that's the main part, that's the long part that you're going to write. Now when you're finished, telling them all the things that you were thankful for, we come to part number three. Part number three is called the closing. It's kind of telling your audience, you know what? I'm finished saying everything I wanna say, so now it's time to end. Now it's time to close. So the closing is also followed by that punctuation mark, the comma. Now the closing can be any kind of word. It can be love. It could be your friend. You could even say sincerely. That's part of the closing. And then the very last part is the signature. This is where you get to sign your name in your best handwriting, I hope. So let's review the four main parts of a thank you note. And then I'm gonna show you an example that I wrote. So here we have the greeting. That's just telling them hello. And remember, after the greeting, you need that comma. And the greeting typically starts with a dear. Dear Sally, dear Uncle Fred, dear Cousin Jack. Number two, part two, is the body. The body of the thank you note is what you're saying you're thankful for. Part number three is the closing. This tells the, your reader that you're finished, you don't have anything else to say. I'm, I'm going to end my note, so it's the closing. And you also follow the closing with a comma. The last part is the signature, where you sign your name. In your best handwriting, I hope. In fact, all of this, you need to use your best handwriting because you want your reader to be able to read it. Well, let me show you an example of what I wrote. Now, Miss Boyette just made this up. I really don't have a friend, Sally. But I just made this up to show you an example. It says, Dear Sally, this is my greeting. Do you notice how dear is capitalized? And Sally, of course, is capitalized. Sally is a proper noun. And there's my comma, dear Sally. Dear Sally, thank you so much for coming to my birthday party. You are a very good friend. Love, Molly. Now this part right here, where it starts with thank you, and it's kind of long, that's the body of my thank you note. That's what I'm telling her thank you for. Down here where I say love, love, comma, that's my closing. You'll notice that love is capitalized. Don't forget that comma. 
And then I signed the name Molly. Of course, you would say your name. If I was writing a real thank you note to someone, I would use my name, Mrs. Boyette. I hope that you received the card, the Easter card that I sent you in the mail. And you would see my closing and you would see my signature. This week, I want you to think of someone, someone in your family, maybe a friend that you want to mail it to. You know what? You could even write a thank you note to God. You can tell God all of the things that you're thankful for. This week, I want you to practice. In your phonics papers, you should see a blank piece of paper where you could write one. But you could also do this on any paper that you have in your home. You could do it in a card. You could even type it on the computer if you wanted. But this week, I want you to practice. I want you to write a thank you note to someone. And I want you to remember the four main parts. Let's go over them one more time. We have the greeting, the body, the closing, and don't forget your signature because this tells who wrote it, who is it from. So you can't forget the signature. I want you to work really hard this week in phonics. Remember how much I love you and I'm praying for you every day. And I hope I get to see you really soon. Take care. Love you. Bye-bye.